Welcome back to SolidWorks tutorial with Ryan. Today I am going to show you Nutball design with SolidWorks software, especially the thread feature in SolidWorks. And at the end I will show a little bit animation. At first need to choose a plane. I am going to choose the front plane and sketch. Select the polygon tools and sketch here. Go to smart dimension and give the dimension from this point to this point is 20 millimeter now go to featured and exclude this and the direction is mid plane and give the parameter is 9 millimeter okay now select this face and again sketch Sketch a circle and select this edge and the circle and make the relation is transient. Okay, now go to feature and excluded cut. From the direction, throw all and flip side cut. Give the draft is 45 degree. Okay. I'm going to choose the material. Uh, go to appearance and body. And this is uh, steel and polished steel. Okay. Now need to mirror this excluded cut feature in this side. So go to mirror and uh, feature to mirror, select cut exclude and mirror face or plane, select front plane. So this cut exclude is mirrored. Okay. Now select this plane and sketch. Sketch a circle. Our nut is M12, so the dimension should be 12 millimeter. Now exclude the sketch and give the parameter is 40 millimeter ok now select this edge and go to insert and add some chamfer I'm going to add chamfer and 0 0.5 and click here angle distance ok Now need to apply the thread feature. Go to whole wizard and thread. Even though you can add this feature from insert feature and thread. At first need to select the thread location. So click here thread location and select this edge and end condition. Uh, select up to select and select this face see now go to specifications type and select here metric die for the nut design I will use the metric die and for the bolt design I will use the metric tab so now select the size and uh, as we are going to create uh, M12 nut so uh, go to select the M12 and into 1.5 ok go to below side and uh, select the thread uh, method is cut thread and all the below is ok now 
Now click OK. See the thread is created. Uh, one more thing that should be changed. I want to create thread from from here, not to here. Here, uh, click offset and give the five millimeter parameter. So uh, the thread will start from here, not from here, and the gap will be five millimeter. Okay. See now, five millimeter gap is created. Now select this space and sketch and go to convert entities and now excluded cut. Okay, you can select throw all. Okay, see the ball design is now ready. Now we have to create the knot. As you already designed the bolt, so now let's design the knot. Now select the front flat and go to again the polygon and sketch a polygon and give the dimension from this point to this point is 20 millimeter. Click to this edge and make it horizontal. Okay. Now again, exclude this and end condition is mid plane and give the parameter is 9 millimeter. Okay. Now select this face and sketch. Sketch a circle and make this edge and this circle relationship is tangent okay now go to excluded cut feature and select direction is throw all flip side cut and draft is 45 degree okay now select this feature and go to mirror and select this front plane so the feature will be mirrored okay assign the material still polished steel okay see this part is created now select this space and create a circle and sketch a circle go to sketch and select a circle and give the circle diameter is 10.38 which is calculated from the knot design okay now go to feature and excluded cut and select the direction is throw all see okay now need to add chamfer to this point, uh, this edge and this edge. Go to insert feature and chamfer. Chamfer parameter is 0.5 millimeter and the angle is 45 degree. Okay. Now again need to add the thread feature. You can go from whole wizard thread or even though you can go from insert feature and thread. Thread location. Uh, select this edge. And end condition is up to select. And Select 
this face see now as we are creating now bolt so we have to select the metric tap type thread and the size is and the size we know is m12 into 1.5 okay see now we can give some offset okay offset is 2 millimeter that's enough now okay see exploded view so the knot is also ready now we have to go the assembly section to assemble this knot and bolt together go to make assembly from part to assembly and browse the bolt and select the bolt first and now insert the knot normal to and from here so temporary axis select this axis and met with this axis see now hide this axis see now go to selection view and go to bolt and go to nut and the right plane okay go to normal view and position this nut and bolt and as like there is no intersection now select knot and show the knot temporarily exist exist now go to mate assembly and mate and in the below Click the mechanical mates drop down and select the screw and distance revelation. And as you know, the distance is 1.5 millimeter. And click this face and mate with. this temporary edges now again check the parameter is okay and it's automatically reverse okay see now Now if you revolve this, what will be happen? See? This is going. Okay. 
okay now hide the temporary exit point and again now one more mate is need to assign go to again mate and go to advanced mate and select this face and this face and give the maximum value is 40 millimeter so this bolt can go up to this face and minimum is 5 millimeter so that the gap from here to here will be 5 millimeter click ok see the gap is now the gap is 5 millimeter see So the nut and bolt is now ready. Now I am going to uh, create animation. So at first go to here and click motion manager. I am already clicked motion manager and go to motion uh, from the model to motion study and expand this up to 20 seconds. Okay. Now go to motion study properties and at 50 as the frames per second okay now go to motor section and select this so this will be rotated this direction now decrease the rpm i am choosing here 50 rpm see so click ok and calculate see So this is how we design a nut bolt in work. Hope you like the video. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel. Thank you.